Y'all, it is time. I need everyone to listen to me right now. If you have not seen the third episodic installation of the sixth season of the television program known as Better Call Saul, if you have not seen this, I need you to go fuck yourself. And by that, I mean I need you to leave immediately, turn whatever you're watching off, jump out the window, whatever you need to do, go and watch the program because I am going to be doing the Better Call Saul S Season 6 Episode 3 review. An excellent episodic installation, let me tell you. Um, so we got a little we got a little photo of Nacho here I'm going to use for this. Get him on screen. Uh, spoiler alert, Nacho killed himself. It's over. It happened. What we've all been waiting for. You know, Nacho's not in Breaking Bad, right? So we knew from the beginning something's got to happen to Nacho. So how did it go? Well, so I just want to be very upfront with my drug use. I was on a lot of drugs last night when I watched this. And I'm not going to lie. When this motherfucker, so Nacho is running away uh, from multiple groups. He's running away from, like, you know, the cartel and all that shit. You know, the police, right? There's this one part where he, like, submerges himself in, like, oil, right? To, like, hide from people that are chasing him. I'm not going to lie to you. I was freaking out. Like, you know, I, I, was, I was doing some drugs. And so I was like, oh, he's going to die in the oil. He can't breathe in oil. I was freaking out. They made that scene so long. I don't know how long it was, but for me, it felt like that scene lasted like 10 minutes where he submerged himself in oil. And then he comes out and he have, uh, successfully escapes like the cousin characters. Um, and I'm thinking, oh, hell yeah. So he's going to make it, right? But eventually, you know, he, do you know, he doesn't end up making it. Uh, he makes a deal, uh, you know, with the, the Mike and the Gustavo and ends up, uh, you know, you know, subverting the cartel from them, you know, setting up Breaking Bad. But then he kills himself, and it was so sad. It was so sad to watch, you know. God damn. Anyway, uh, the, the Saul parts of the show were also really good. I'm glad that Huel has returned to the program. Uh, you know, they uh, they did a whole scam, a classic scam. I'm loving how the, the Saul character arc is developing. Uh, I just hope, my, my big hope is that Kim does not die as well. Um, if she dies, that'd be very sad. Um, but you know, we'll see how it goes. I don't, I don't think she will personally. I don't think she will. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to stake out that position. I'm staking out that position. Um, that Kim's not going to die. Uh, but anyway, Nacho died. Main character, Gonzo. Fucking rip. So, um, when, when Nacho like called his dad, damn, like, I mean like, damn, like, I mean, when he was crying on the phone, Right? Oh. 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 Too good. And then also, also, when Nacho, like, told Hector, the guy in the wheelchair, uh, that he's the one who poisoned him and put him in the wheelchair. Oh! That motherfucker got so mad. It was great. It was a great app. I don't know. It was a fantastic app. Um, really good app. I'm, I'm enjoying the season so far. One, two, and three. Uh, very, very good developments. Uh, you know, again, I'm a huge Better Call Saul fan. I'm big into it. I'm big into it. Um, and I'm very excited to see how it goes. But, you know, Nacho's dead. That scene was, that scene was crazy to watch. Um, and, uh, you know, again, I, like, yeah, it's a good show. <laughs> I have nothing else to say. I'm really high, but it was a good app. I enjoyed it. Rip Nacho, and I'm excited for next week.